Hey, if you have hard time memorizing the uh, staging of TNM staging of renal cell carcinoma, I'm here to help you. Uh, I will tell you a visual mnemonic to really remember this forever. So uh, before starting, I want you to grab a piece of paper and few pencils and uh, you will draw with me. That will help you through, the, through this process. So before starting, there is the word of caution that uh, in the textbook, there is some discrepancy in the TNM staging of renal cell carcinoma. And I am currently following the American Joint Committee of on Cancer's uh, staging manual. 8th edition. So before starting, uh, what we will do is that we will basically we will start and draw start with drawing a kidney. So here we go. And of course, kidneys are not alone. They have their friend adrenal gland sitting on their head okay so and of course the kidneys are surrounded by a facial layer called gerotal fascia or renal fascia and between kidney and gerotal fascia is the layer of fat called perinephric fat perinephric fat uh, don't confuse this perinephric fat with the paranephric fat perinephric fat peri means near and perinephric fat is near to kidney and paranephric fat runs parallel to perinephric fat so perinephric fat is outside the gerotal fascia now uh, of course, I will draw some renal pyramids too. Now, I want you to, rem to remember a number, 7. Now, you must be thinking, hey, how I'm going to remember this number 7 and how I'm going to relate it with the kidney. So, don't worry. I will draw 7 here because it fits this place nicely and so that you will remember this and you will relate this number seven with the kidney later on i will tell you that why i told you to remember this number seven don't worry follow just follow me okay so and if you want to be really awesome you can remember number four also but at least remember number seven. At least remember number seven. And the kidneys, they are kind of unique that the metastasis can be through the veins. This is renal vein draining into inferior vena cava and of course inferior vena cava it it enters the diaphragm through a through an opening and you must be knowing that kidneys are sitting comfortably they are comfortably lying on the diaphragm and don't forget that yeah that's it and uh, number you have to remember number seven and number four no T0, the first TNM staging, TNM staging consists of tumor size, T for tumor size, N for nodes involvement, and M for distance metas distant metastasis. So first of all, I will start with the T. T0 means no evidence of tumor. No evidence of tumor. And T1, T1 means tumor is less than less than 7 cm in its greatest dimension, less than 7 cm in its greater dimension and but it is limited to kidney. So less than 7 cm but 
limited to kidney limited to kidney and t2 tumor is more than more than 7 cm t1 less than 7 cm t2 more than 7 cm very easy to remember and still limited to limited to kidney and i told you that uh, if you want to be awesome you can remember another number 4 this is because uh, t1 is further divided into t1a and t1b t1a means tumor size is less than 4 cm so i will draw it in inside the 4 cm and t1b means tumor size is more than 4 cm but still less than 7 cm so t1a less than uh, less than 4 cm t1b 4 to 7 cm more than 4 cm less than 7 cm uh, but at least remember that t1 is less than 7 cm t2 is more than 7 cm now and both of them are limited to kidney and T3 in T3 uh, the tumor is no more limited to kidney now the tumor extends and this was T1 of course now the and T2 let's draw T2 it is more than 4 cm 7 cm in its greater than greatest dimension and then there is T3 in T3 the tumor extends into major veins that's a renal vein and also the perinephric perinephric tissue the perinephric fat so tumor extends into major vasculature and perinephric perinephric fat but gerotal fascia is spared and gerotal fascia is feeling happy because it is spared and ipsilateral adrenal gland is also spared although their friends uh, their friend kidney is in trouble but both of these are still smiling because they are safe for now so they are kind of selfish <laughs> so in t3 the tumor extends to major veins and or perinephric tissue perinephric tissue but but gerotal fascia or gerotal fascia whatever it is gerotal fascia and adrenal adrenal is spared adrenal gland is spared for now and now comes t4 now they were smiling at the kidney but unfortunately their happiness won't last longer because in t4 the tumor size is so large that they also involve this gerotal fascia and adrenal gland too and of course they can involve the renal vasculature so now they are crying they are no more happy now they are crying so in t4 uh, of course it, the tumor goes beyond gerotal fascia and may involve ipsilateral adrenal gland yes let's recap Let's review what we have read. Uh, in T0, no evidence of tumor. In T1, the tumor is less than 7 cm. In T2, here is T2, tumor is more than 7 cm. I think that should be bigger. More than 7 cm. And T3, it extends into major vein, but gerotal fascia, major vein and or the perinephric fat. But the adrenal gland and adrenal gland and gerotal fascia is spared it does not go beyond the gerotal fascia so this is t3 
and in T4 it may go beyond the geroidal fascia and may or may not involve the adrenal gland mm, and let me tell you another thing that T3 is further divided if you want to know more details T3 is further divided into T T3A T3B and T3C but that isn't much difficult to remember in T3A it just involves the major vasculature, uh, major veins. In T3B, it also involves the vena cava. It also involves the vena cava, inferior vena cava below the diaphragm. So it involves inferior vena cava below the diaphragm. This is T3B, T3A, T3B, and in T3C. It involves the diaphragm, T3C, it involves, not diaphragm, sorry, in T3C, it involves the inferior vena cava above the diaphragm, inferior vena cava above the diaphragm, or in T3C, it may simply <coughs> involve the uh, walls of inferior vena cava. So this was tumor size, now nodes, the good news is that the nodes is very simple and easy to remember but of course nodes involvement is very bad news for the patient and of course you uh, as a treating doctor so m0 mean no nodes involvement n1 mean nodes are involved very simple n0 no node involvement N1 nodes are involved and then M that is also easy to remember M0 no distance me, uh, distant metastasis no distant mets and M1 there is distant mets so that's all that was about the uh, TNM staging of renal cell carcinoma if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.